And also tonight, the Salt Lake County Sheriff is outlining his interpretation of another executive order on immigration dealing with those supposed sanctuary cities. News specialist Andrew Adams was part of a news conference earlier this afternoon. Andrew? Dini, this is the executive order. Part of it says that sanctuary cities can lose out on federal grant money if they don't comply. Well, the sheriff is interpreting that compliance to mean here at the jail. Jim Winter spoke to reporters earlier this afternoon and said that the Salt Lake County Jail is in full compliance with federal immigration requirements. Basically, what jail staff have to do is report foreign-born arrestees to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. ICE then has 48 hours to make a decision on whether to claim that person. Winter says the jail does that. He also wants to clarify that this order will not equal a roundup, that the federal government doesn't have the resources. My opinion, he's all hat and no cattle. That executive order asks for a ton of stuff. It doesn't substantively change a single thing that's going on with immigration in this country. The sheriff says his office has fielded numerous concerned calls from people that police will be out looking for illegal immigrants. He says that's not what the order says at all. In fact, coming up on KSL 5 News at 10 o'clock, some interesting statistics to show you. If you're an illegal immigrant that's booked here at the jail, what are the odds that ICE will come and get you? Yeah, the jail has a statistic on that. We'll show you what it is. All right, we have a lot of concern about all of this right now, Andrew. Thanks.